Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. Over the years, there have been many popular canvases for delivering analytics. Each one has had its own niche, from the visually compelling to the highly consistent, and even the deeply embeddable. When you rank the various tools by the size of their user base, there are a few that bubble up as having the most users. But almost all of these counts avoid talking about the elephant in the room, and that's Excel. Excel is by far the most widely used tool for consuming data. Estimates are a little hard to pinpoint, but somewhere between 500 million to 1.2 billion users make up the potential Excel community. When you compare that with any other canvas for consuming data, the elephant becomes a little hard to ignore. But why is Excel problematic when it comes to data distribution? After all, if users like it, then why not embrace? Well, let me explain a few problems that creep into organizations that use Excel for analytics. And then I'll propose some useful workarounds. The first issue is that it breaks the chain of custody between the data source and the data consumer. Meaning because the data is editable while it's in Excel, the results can always be in question. So it's susceptible to typos, incorrect use of functions, and even intentional misrepresentation. The second issue with Excel is that it isn't designed for processing really, really large data sets. Yes, you can get away with just slightly over 1 million rows with 16,000 columns, but that doesn't mean that it'll perform quickly under those circumstances. Many organizations generate a million records in mere minutes, so the lack of scalability is an instant barrier. Third, Excel nests the formulas and macros in the Excel file. That means that there's not a scalable way of sharing that logic across various projects. So an organization that relies heavily on Excel will find itself with a cornucopia of little, tiny, data logic islands. And lastly, because the chain of custody is broken and everybody has their little logic island, Decision makers argue about which Excel spreadsheet is correct, rather than the decision needing to be made. But for all its faults, Excel is extremely empowering. What if scenarios, quickly cleaning up data sets, making editable lists, a quick and dirty analysis, testing ideas. I mean, where would the data analyst world be without Excel? So how do you embrace Excel without creating a chaotic mess? Well, the first rule is that Excel must be a canvas and not an integration layer. The moment that users are creating a copy of the data that has no chain of custody back to the source and then doing data munging on that raw data to generate analysis on tab 57, you should raise an alarm. So when we say data canvas, we mean that there is an auditable link back to the source of data and that link can refresh the data set. The second rule is that the integration logic does not live in Excel, but rather a shared backend integration process. This can be a hard one for Excel users to abide by. If you recall from the Intricity 101 video by Lee Green published in November 2020, organizations can often create a data survivalist culture where people become so attached to their data munging process that they refuse to use automation. The third rule is that formulas and macros need to undergo constant evaluation to ensure reusability. This can be difficult to execute on, but if the data refresh is being provided by a centralized feed, then it can be easier to manage. The key here is to constantly be asking, are there other team members that could benefit from this formula? And if the answer to that question is yes, the logic needs to be pushed back into the data consumption layer. At Intricity, we've been working hard to make it possible to ease organizations with a heavy Excel usage into a greater use of cloud data platforms like Snowflake. We're releasing an Excel add-in for Snowflake to allow organizations to continue their collaboration without breaking that critical chain of custody 
with the live data. If you'd like to learn more about this solution, click on the link in the video description. Additionally, if you'd like to discuss your challenges with us, you'll see a link to talk with an Intricity Specialist.